So I was always finding myself wanting to try new things in Cleveland. Um, there's a lot of cool little neighborhoods around. And I'd be out and about and I'd hear about them from friends. I'd sometimes write them down, sometimes I'd completely forget about them. A month later, I'd say, i try to remember what it was. Couldn't remember. Um, so this is where the concept of our website, Bucket List, came from. We wanted to create an app so that you could keep track of the things that you wanted to do, whether you were out with your friends and you heard about it, or maybe it's a lifelong goal of learning a language, something along those lines. But there was a few needs that we wanted to fill. First, we wanted to make sure that it was social media friendly so that we could post something online and maybe get some interest from some of our friends to want to go. We also wanted to be able to hold ourselves accountable. So if we said something like learn a language, then we could always look back on it and say, you know what, I, I said I wanted to do that. I need to take care of it. And lastly, we wanted it to be responsive. A lot of times when you hear about these fun new things in Cleveland, you're out with your friends. You know, you don't have any place to write it down, and odds are you're going to forget it. So we wanted to be able to open up your phone, easily put in what you heard about, whether it's a restaurant or not, and save it for later so that you could reference it. And with that being said, this is Bucket List. Okay, so I'm Zaire. Uh, to enhance the user experience and to help the user register for our application, we decided to implement Google and Facebook authentication APIs. So. We'll uh, wait a couple of seconds while it loads up. And here's an example of the Google. And using JavaScript, we were able to implement the Google Maps API, which you see at the bottom of every screen. And this helps the user find a destination without having to leave the page. And up next, we have an example of the Facebook login. Don't look me up. So there are no more excuses because we took all the hard work out of it for you. In addition to the views you see, the C Sharp and the relational database behind the scenes, we used Git, GitHub, and Visual Studio team services so that our talented developers could make improvements to the site whenever inspiration struck. Now, of course, Everyone on this side of the room is marking something off of their bucket list today, which is we can code it with their graduation. So we're going to go ahead and fill out the form, and then this person is going to complete an item on their list. In case you need to look up where that address is, if you just found it in a newspaper or scene magazine, you can find it in our Google Maps API. And then at the end of today, we can edit this item on our list, mark it complete. And you, just, you can see you have graduated. Of course, as William mentioned, we had to make this site responsive uh, because you don't always uh, have inspiration when you're sitting in front of your computer. So we made sure that this can be um, accessed on a tablet, smartphone, and your PC. I'm Kendra. Now your bucket list won't be hidden in a drawer or in a notebook on your shelf or buried in your phone or just a random comment that you make to a friend. Our bucket list will have your list come to life as you actively plan and complete items. <clears throat> Whether it be watching the Cavs game, seeing the Christmas Story House, or eating at one of Michael Simon's famous restaurants, our bucket list will become Part of your active planning for your next adventure. Thank you so much and we look forward to speaking to all of you after the presentation.